So it, it has been a, a fantastic, a fantastic year from uh, from both the scientific uh, point of view, uh, because the accelerator, the LHC, has been working wonderfully, and, and the experiment Atlas as well. So we have recorded a lot of data, beautiful data that we have analyzed uh, very fast, very quickly, thanks also to um, to a very solid. Uh, computing uh, grid infrastructure that has allowed us to distribute this data worldwide in a very effectively and thanks of course to the ingenuity the, uh, the enthusiasm and the, uh, the dedication of the uh, 3000 uh, physicists from the collaboration um, we have produced a huge number of physics results we have rediscovered uh, completed the rediscovery of the standard model and these new energies and we have looked for new uh, physics with a very huge discovery uh, potential and have uh, clearly investigated the existence of the, uh, the standard model X boson with a lot of power and uh, already with some uh, important um, conclusions. So with the huge amount of data that we have collected this year, five times more than uh, what we were expecting at the beginning of the year and with the excellent performance of the experiments, we have been able to uh, exclude uh, a huge um, range of the allowed uh, mass region to the 95% confidence level, so with 95% confidence, which is a very high level of, of confidence. And uh, over the last week, we, we have started to see some interesting excess of, uh, of events uh, in a mass range around 125 GV. Uh, this excess may be due to a fluctuation, but it also may indicate uh, something more interesting, interesting coming up there. And so we need more, uh, more checks, we need more scrutiny of our data, and we need definitely more data to reach a firm conclusion. Combining the two experiments, ATLAS and CMS, will also be very useful to, of course, uh, increase the, the sensitivity to this search. Well, if the Higgs boson is really there, so if what we see is not just a fluctuation, but the first manifestation of this particle, I guess that by combining with CMS and if, if the accelerator and the experiment work as well as in 2011, I think that by, by summer we should be able to, to have uh, a solid signal. Of course, the X will be an important chapter of our program in 2012, but not the only one. Of course, if the X is there, we would like to discover it um, as fast as possible, but then the campaign of measurement of its properties will, will start. And it's nice that if it is there, it's light and uh, it's very good because the experiments will be sensitive to many decay modes of the X boson, into two photons, into four uh, leptons, into two leptons neutrinos, uh, into big quarks, etc. But the Higgs boson is not the only program of the um, LHC. We will also continue to look for new physics. Um, also because if the Higgs boson is so light, we think this indicates that new physics should manifest at the TV scale that we are um, um, investigating and exploring now.